Hello guys, uh, this is Big Fish, and on today's video, we're gonna be doing the tier list for the arena class tier list. Yeah, this is this is gonna be comprising uh, for the arenas. Um, this one is kind of a question mark for me because actually there's a, there's a whole ton of classes, so uh, this might take a bit longer than how it was uh, on the previous tier lists. Uh, this one will be a temporary. Uh, it, it won't be like a. It won't be something that you can probably look up to for uh, probably in the next two months. I will make one more tier list once the season ends, because uh, we're currently on class balancing season, and um, it's very hard for me to make a, a justified judgment. Because uh, things change, yeah? It, like weekly, we're getting class changes, we're getting class reworks, we're getting class buffs and nerfs. And so we can't make a, we can't make a tier list that will last a while. So this one will be temporary, but this will be effective all the way up to October 4. So please do uh, look forward to uh, this uh, video. I am quite sure that um, the majority of the things that are said in this video will be viable for at least another month or, or two, but uh, just take a look at the reworks that will be done in the next weeks to come and yeah, you can ask me like uh, which uh, changes, uh, what changes from the tier list uh, after what changes next week or so. Alright, so obviously I put Yacha on the very first, on the very top, yeah? Obviously, this one needs no more introduction. This class is absolutely ballistic. It's, it's absolutely broken. It's a god tier class. It's very easy to play. It's yeah. It's I think it doesn't need any more uh, form of um, like how to put this nicely. Eh? Um, it's like it's like uh, it's a class that that everyone knows. It's fucking brain dead and uh, yeah, it's pretty fucked up. So. Um, it's gonna be there on god tier even before we even start talking about the tier list um okay next so uh this tier list will be a bit different we will be putting this tier list not as how it was before in the previous tier list we base every single class being played at a decent level now this is a problem because not everyone um because when you put it to decent there are classes that needs to perform extremely well um when when they're played decent they, they just become shit but when they are played pro they, they become extremely broken and so there are those kind of classes too so this tier list will be put to a competitive usage as in how competitively viable a class is in a current meta the ones that we'll be talking about will be based on stats there are just too many stats too many uh too many notes that i have and i just couldn't comprise them in one video because it takes too long there's like 39 classes is too many uh it, it will just confuse you guys so i think obviously it's just a lot better for me just to talk about it and summarize each 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 classes yeah so first of all this will be the god tier class this will be yacha and um there will actually be a couple more so uh in case you guys are wondering why this tier list is made now this is actually to give you guys a good rough idea of what uh, the tournament will be like uh, the tournament that i'm holding in probably the next two or three months the tournament will ban everything on God and Demon tier. Broken tiers might still be allowed, uh, but uh, I'm quite sure God and Demon tier will be banned. Uh, absolutely, yeah, it will be absolutely banned. All right, so next um, will be the Fletcher. The Fletcher, in my current opinion, now is a balanced class. People. People go like, oh no, Fletcher sucks, and then I'm like, yeah, you guys are right. And the reason for that is the way things work now in BDM is that um, if, the, if a class is not broken or above, it probably sucks. That is just how it is. And um, yeah, even when you play this thing competitively, even if you're really good at the class, if you're against someone at, at the same level who are also pro and they compete as well, you just... Yeah, the chances of you winning is just very low and the reason is not because his kid is bad. No, no, no His kid is absolutely awesome. He's got he's got one forward guard break amazing opening amazing uh, kit overall two anti-grab It's just a really good class. The kid is super good The only problem is the damage the damage is very very low. This is one of the lowest damage combo class in the game the, I mean, he does have a, a long combo. However, the damage on that long combo also sucks. So, uh, you guys get it now? <laughs> the combo just really, really sucks. Uh, because of that, uh, it, it does hurt the class a little bit. 
Uh, very very sad, yeah. However, um, the class's kit is pretty good, and uh, probably I'm I I I hope that this class will get buffed. Next will be the archer. Unlike the Fletcher, the Archer is actually an overpowered class. This class has absolutely amazing damage. It's uh, it's got a, it's very fast, and I think as it was buffed multiple times in the past patches, it has driven this class all the way from potato to overpowered. I think at some point it was in good already or low over overpowered, and then they buffed it even more, buffed the damage even more, buffed everything about it. I think they changed the uh, bullshit skill to knockback and um, increased the attack speed for that skill, which enabled the combo to go longer and yeah, competitively speaking, Archer is absolutely overpowered, it's a very very strong class. It does not really have any particular weakness except to maybe, hmm, it's, it's got two, uh, it's got two anti-grab on the Fandov and on the, wait, let me forget, uh, fuck, I forgot the name. Is the the uh, the jumping invincible skill? Yeah, he's got two uh, anti grab. The fan off can also be maneuvered to uh, break forward guard from behind. It's it's just overall really really good class. Immunity very very good. Uh, damage very high. It's just a really good class currently. Unlike the Fletcher, this class with the right in the right hands can definitely compete. I'm quite contemplating whether to put this class in overpowered or broken. But I think that this class is good enough and overpowered. Next will be the Warlord. This is the newest uh, reworked class in the game. And it has rose all the way up to the level of Yacha. This is currently a god tier class. Um, the damage is absolutely ballistic. This is also one of those classes capable of one-shotting. And after thorough testing, um, we found out that it has the capability of even one-shotting a Grandmaster from full HP to zero. It's uh, it's kind of ballsack, guys. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of ballsack. It's very, very busted. So, uh, yeah, this this class damage is extremely high. It's very, very tanky. Its mobility is amazing. It's just a very, it's a very difficult class to beat. Plus, all of the skills break forward guard. So you have a class that trades very well because damage is really high and it's very tanky. So he takes less damage and uh, deals a lot of damage back. And also he heals from the super armor skill. It does have amazing mobility, so you can't really kite him that well as well. Um, and then it's got too much forward guard break. So, well, I mean, even if you use forward guard to try to block his damage, it's not going to work as well. His rotation is 24-7, super, super armor. It's got almost 24-7 downtime. So, uh... It's just a really, really god tier class. There is almost no weakness of this class. You can probably say, oh yeah, he's probably weak to grabs. Um, not really when we, uh, I mean, competitively speaking, when uh, this class does not have any particular weakness. Because he's so tanky and he heals every time he trades. So even if you grab open him, he will not actually take that much damage back. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's very sad, guys. It's just a very very sad class. It's just too it's it's too strong. Yeah, I think the the latest buff really really fucked this class up. Um, probably needs a major nerf alongside Yacha. Yeah, for sure. Mm, quite busted actually. Currently, next is gonna be the Blade Master. This will be a bit different. Uh, this Blade Master is currently an overpowered class alongside the Archer. It's got very good rotation. It's got amazing kits. It's got uh, I think it, it's got. 3 for guard break on the retaliations flow. It's got one more by uh, back backhanding your evasive strike and also uh, one more on your quick draw. Although the quick draw can probably count as 3 for guard break, but uh, well, you guys you guys know the drill, yeah. This is going to be one of the best for guard breakers in the class as well. It's got amazing combo. It's got it's just a really really good class. I think the only problem with this class is it just um, how do I put it nicely, eh? It's a class that's got everything right, yet um, I do feel that this class have a little bit too much momentum. 
Probably the cooldown on retaliation needs to be nerfed by about one second or the quick draw by one second. Because the way I the way I see it, like um if you compare this skill to say it's like can you guys imagine if say um a primrose frigid burst have three hits and all of them break forward guard and anti-grab? Well that's basically what a blade master is. So uh, competitively speaking, on a very competitive level, this class is absolutely ballistic, it's very very strong. Uh I would, I'm probably contemplating of putting him in broken, but uh, maybe we'll change things up later on, yeah? Alright, so next is gonna be the Corsair. This Corsair is a bit different currently. This Corsair is still a very viable class. The full combo damage of this class can reach about 75%. This is gonna be the combo revolving around uh, riding waves into... Wait, 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 let me think. Riding waves into... Uh, Wait, right, riding waves into pirate tricks into wait, wait, wait. riding waves into pirate trick into ferocious wave and but only use like one only for only use the first hit for the knockback and then you're gonna charge up your soaring waves and then you're gonna go judgment four times into a descending tide this combo deals roughly around 75 percent to a gm so uh, very very high damage also uh, Corsair is obviously currently a, quite a quite a good class. I wouldn't say that it's um, oh, the the only reason why I don't put this Corsair in overpowered, despite all that, is because the ones above this are just kind of nuts, guys. Yeah, competitively speaking, it's just uh, currently not really that viable. Although it's pr pretty okay, I guess. Now, Phantasma. Now, this is our first broken class. Phantasma is an absolutely broken class. The rotation of the skill is obviously 24-7. It's got amazing coverage. It's got two anti-grab. It's got two F4 guard break. It's got good stall, very good range, very, very good combo damage. It's just a really, really good class currently. It's got amazing coverage, and as you, as you guys know, coverage is what makes a class broken. Now, what is the current weakness of the class? To be perfectly honest with you, none. This class doesn't have, doesn't actually have a particular weakness. Like most of the weakness probably revolves around using umbral pillars and getting grabbed. But uh, I mean, I mean that goes with every other class, right? <laughs> so it's not really something that uh, you can't work around. You do have two anti-grabs, so that's not really a problem either. Four guard uh, classes do not counter you in any way as well, because you do have to FG break on your Phantom Dash and on the uh, Twin Slash Flow. That's one thing. All right, so next we're gonna be talking about her sister, the Void Knight. This is gonna be the next broken class as well. I'll probably put uh, Void Knight a, a bit above uh, Phantasma just because this is basically a class that's uh, very tanky with 50% damage reduction and has a fourth guard plus heal. And the heal is not is not a bit, guys. It's not a little bit of heal. It's I think it's a 1,500 heal, if I recall correctly, per use of Fury of Coma Sylvia. That skill has a total of two second duration. Uh, the lingers are included, and only five second cooldown. So this the skill obviously have roughly only about three second cooldown. Very very good immunity, almost 24/7 immunity with an amazing dodge as well. It's just a really, really good class currently. It, it, it does have somewhat a weakness to forward guard break, but you're, it's a class with only one forward guard, not really a class with, say, um, it's not really a class that revolves around using only forward guard, so it's not really a big problem that you can't work around. Mo mobility is extremely good as well. Coverage, I would say, is kind of weird because this class does not have anti-grab, but it's very tanky and it heals back damage, so it does cover up a bit for the da the damage that it took from grab grab openings. And for forward guard break, the skill Nightfall has some kind of uh, it has a displacement bug, where it can hit you and break your forward guard from the front. This is quite an issue because um, I do not believe that it, that the the skill was intended to be that that way. Perhaps later on. Uh, if there's a Pearl Abyss staff watching this video, I really want you guys to start uh, paying attention to uh, this class. Yeah, this class have a lot of bugs currently. I think um, needs a lot of fixes for sure. Next is gonna be this class Destroyer. This is currently a very potato class. This is just, just this is just absolutely disgusting. It's um, it's not viable whatsoever for competitive play. It's just too hard to use. 
too hard to learn and learning it doesn't actually um, even if you learn it it doesn't have good returns like it's not really a class viable for competitive play it's just too it's just too bad like it, it, it just sucks in everything like you got one uh, you got one shot in basically with firebomb uh, once you once that that happens someone probably grab your ass or something you want to like two of your uh, your main um, like immunity is a very grabbable skill and it's pretty slow so and not to mention it's stationary it's very easy to grab and so uh, it's, it, it's quite difficult to uh, to uh, manage yeah. this destroyer is obviously a very sad class currently it needs a bit of help from Pearl Abyss but uh, well let's just hope for the best for the uh, destroyer class however his brother the Titan is now above and beyond this is gonna be a class considered broken especially when played competitively this is a class with probably the best sustain and the best tankiness in the game it has the highest resistance um, stat in the game alongside the, the destroyer at 15% so it has actually more chances of resisting it has the shortest grab cooldown effective cooldown it, it has the shortest it has the shortest um, effective cooldown for a grab on a class it's actually only about six seconds guys i'm not kidding it's about six seconds long only so basically if you have two titans you can chain grab each uh, the enemy endlessly with no delay it's just absolutely ballistics guys yeah you have to it's it's just disgusting it's just a class that um it, it needs a major nerf on the grab for sure it's not allowed in this it shouldn't be allowed in the in the game yeah for sure it's it's too much plus this class is also very bugged so i do want the pearl abyss staffs and uh, developers to look into this class a bit the skill beastly wind slash have uh, some sort of um, animation desync like it's like it it clips you it cc's you before before the uh, although the animation doesn't reach so it's like it's like the, the animation reaches to a certain location and but even though you're outside of that location you're still getting cc you should look into that that that, that the location desync uh beastly wind uh, wind slash is obviously a it's obviously a bug i don't think that that was intended to be that way so uh, please do look into that also very very high sustain i don't think there's any class in the game that can one shot a titan from 100 percent to zero I don't think it's possible just because of the passive yeah he heals too much next is gonna be the solaris this is gonna be our first ever brain dead class or demon class this is one of the easiest classes to play it's only got two skills the um the thermal rush yeah the the the, uh, the running skill is absolutely broken it it instantly breaks forward guard it has only about five second cooldown if I, if I recall correctly and about three and a half second duration it does have also very short cooldown very very high burst on the grab opening and and it, and like the warlord it also have the ability to destroy uh people's hp <laughs> it does have the ability to one shot people as well although we won't be sharing the combo i think i'm I think I shared the Warlord one uh, already, so uh, I'm not gonna be sharing the one for Solaris as well. Um, it's gonna be, it's pretty busted, guys. So uh, I just want you guys to know that uh, I'm not making broken class content, not just because I don't want to, but it's because we need to have a bit of balance. We need to understand that often a simple view count video at the expense of the game is not worth making and so we won't be sharing some some things yeah all right solari is obviously a very demonic class very easy to play very hard to punish and it's just a very very strong class currently it's uh, it's got absolutely no weaknesses whatsoever it's tanky it heals a lot it 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 hurts so much its coverage is perfect grab check forward guard break check anti-grab check three three full coverage on a single class with high damage very tanky very good grab it's just bonkers very very strong class currently next is going to be the hasashian this hasashian is currently in my honest opinion still a pretty overpowered 
pretty overpowered class. I think that this class is currently around the same tier as the Blade Master, or slightly above or slightly below. Probably slightly, probably slightly below, probably. It's got amazing coverage as well. It's got forward guard break. Um, I think it's got three forward guard break if I recall correctly. Yeah, three, uh, one on Mirage, and two on Eye of the Storm, and it's got also three anti grab as well on the same three skills. Uh, there's two charges of Eye of the Storm and one Mirage. All of those three skills have anti grab and forward guard break. So very very strong kit very good coverage damage is actually is, the damage is actually not bad guys if you got a full combo in say like uh from the from the rush into the uh into the unforgiven if i recall correctly yeah? and then you start the, uh, the combo all all the way from the start to the to finish from stun all the way to uh, a final eye of the storm it will actually deal pretty decent damage i tried doing this combo to a gm three times just for uh, testing uh purposes it dealt about 60 percent so obviously the damage of the Hasashin is, you can't just see it in a way like, oh, okay, the combo will finish and that's the damage. No, no, no. Hasashin's damage is progressive. You need to wait until the bleeding stops. Then you will see how much damage it was actually dealing. It's absolutely ballistics. I'm not kidding. It's actually really, really good. Plus, I have the Storm, heals, and it's uh, a very, very good skill. Plus, the lingers of the assassin is absolutely one of the best in the game, if not the best. It's got one of the best evasion linger. It's got the best super armor linger on Eye of the Storm. It's just amazing. It's just a very, very amazing class. However, he does have a weakness to kiting. After all, this class's uh, mobility is not that good, especially during um, Eye of the Storm. He's not really doing much. He's not really moving. So it's kind of hard to manage, but obviously Hasashin is a very, very strong class regardless. It's got an amazing kit, and I think we'll stop at that. Next is the Kunoichi. Obviously, this is a class that's been over-nerfed. It's just sad as fuck, and um, well, I guess I'm just really sorry for whoever's playing Kunoichi. She's no longer viable competitively. It's an absolutely disgusting class. Its damage is very, very low. It's, it's just sad, guys. Like... Like thinking about, whoa, the Konoichi has a grab, has a two anti grab, and and two four guard break. So it's basically a class with three coverage. See, so it should be amazing, right? She has no particular weakness. Yes, correct. She does not have a counter. However, the problem is everything counters her. Why? Because one, her immunity rotation sucks. Two, she cannot trade. Three, her main dealing damage is actually too risky. Her main stab opening skill is on Cripple, and Cripple is a non-super armor skill, and it's melee. It's not really a class that's viable, plus her grab cooldown slash duration effective cooldown is one of the longest in the game. Her grab has, if I recall correctly, a 15 second cooldown. After, the six, after this 15 second cooldown, the duration of the... If I recall correctly, let me check my notes. Wait, give me a second, guys. Konoichi's grab effective cooldown is 12 seconds, guys. That's the longest one in the game. Sora being at 11 or 10. I think it's 10. Uh, it's 10. Yeah. Sora's version is 10. 10 seconds effective cooldown. Konoichi has 12 second effective cooldown. So it's very, very long. One of the worst grab in, in the game. Uh... It's just really, really sad. I think for a class to from from a class that can compete to a class that cannot compete at all. Very, very sad class. Yeah, very, very sad. Even competitively speaking, even if you're a pro, this class will still suffer a lot. Next is gonna be the Crimson Lily. This is gonna be our first. Uh, no, it's gonna be our fourth broken class. This is a class with 24/7 immunity. And it has no downtime on the super armor uh, slash iframe at all. There is no cooldown at this class. You can linger. Uh, you can linger or stall both your uh, Rondo of Doom <coughs> and the really thrust. Yeah, both of your uh, super armor skills. You can linger them very long, and you can you can stall them very long. Plus, you have the Crimson Glide as well. You can heal just by just by hitting air. Um, yeah, it's just a very broken class. She does have a particular weakness to grabs, but knowing that she can heal back the damage just by doing nothing, it, it, yeah, it's not really a particular weakness. And eventually, people will run dry. Because 
well, you have an unlimited super armor when others don't. It's, however, she is pretty soft. Her damage is not high. And because of that, she's not in demon tier yet. She's still unbroken. However, if they buff her damage, probably we might see a demon tier class soon. Okay. Next is going to be this lawn. This is going to be the lawn. Uh, the lawn got reworked recently. Got lots of new buffs. Now she hurts a ton. Her full damage does about 75% to uh, GM at max uh, at, at max proc. So about a 1 out of 10 chance she will, she will deal roughly around 80. 75% uh, to 80 if a uh, few A hit proc and all that. Her full her, uh, half combos deal roughly around 40% and her main damage, uh, the, her main uh, rolls uh, will probably deal about 60%. So two full combos will kill almost anything, probably except GM and um, probably GM will survive with, with Sliver or Titan will probably survive but I think no other class will be able to survive that long uh, unless uh, there's a couple tradings and you're against a class with amazing sustain. Probably, probably not but yeah, Lon is just a very very strong class currently and do not plan on making content for this class so do not ask uh, very very broken currently but you need to have a specific way of playing the class it's not it's not a class where you can just keep flying and don't think you, you need to think but still it's still a very very demon demon level class it's absolutely busted yeah next is gonna be the primrose this is in my opinion currently a good class probably hmm, to be perfectly honest if you're talking competitive play, as in you're, she's gonna be against the classes above, on uh, Demon God and Broken Tier, she'll probably fall down to probably only good tier or overpowered. Obviously, this class has been improved a couple times, but the main problem is this class do have that excruciating problem from grabs. This class is one of the most grabbable classes in the game. Obviously, I don't need to explain too much about it. It's just. It's a class with too many weaknesses, and because of that, it, it, she might fare okay against, say, Archer or something else, but against the classes above, she will just die. Probably she can compete with some. There are, like, say, some, some of the classes that she can counter. Say, like, Archer, maybe she'll do fine, but against other classes, I think she will just fall. Next is gonna be the the Lotus. Yeah, uh, this is gonna be a demon tier class. Lotus will probably, in my opinion, is currently a demon level class. This is this class is absolutely ballistic. There is uh, this is a class with full coverage except for grab. She does have three anti grab and four fort guard break. This is the best class currently for uh, noob noob hunting. Um, it is one of those classes that get that checks out uh, Yacha. Probably the only class that checks out Yacha, so it's obviously a very, very strong class currently. Very, very, uh, it doesn't really have particular weakness. People say, oh, she can get kited. Not really, I mean, she has the arrow, which has a very good reach. So, it's all about how, how, how you play. I've never heard any of my, uh, any of my, uh, my, uh, my team complaining about, uh, the Lotus. If you don't understand about, um, all that, then, uh, probably the one who needs to get good is you. Because I don't remember Lotus having a particular problem. I don't, I don't get Akasha telling me, oh, okay, Lotus sucks or something. Uh, he never tell me what the weaknesses are because he don't feel it. So uh, obviously, this is not really a class with weakness. This is probably, I think, her only particular weakness. To be honest, is mm, her only particular weakness, in my opinion, is actually. Uh, I think her combo damage is a bit low. But considering how broken her trading power is, I don't think that's uh, necessary, yeah, for sure. I think uh, Lotus needs a nerf on the cooldown or on the damage. Either one is just currently kind of busted, in my opinion. Very, very busted class. Next is gonna be the Mystique. Mystique is still, in my opinion, a broken class. However, this one will be dropped. This one will go the, all the way down to probably the lowest tier of broken. This class's uh, rotation can no longer suffice for a full rotation, but still, the class is still demon tier. Uh, by any means, it's not a joke. It's still very very strong. You can win just by trading. It's kind of ballistic, yeah. Not much common to be honest. Combo damage very very high. Uh, a full combo. I think it goes from Nitros into Flurry of Pain twice. 
into uh, floor your pain twice into uh, wait, wait, knee thrust floor your plane uh, floor your pain floor your pain um, somersault wait wait give me a second let me just open my uh, let me open my notes sorry guys there's, there's a lot to uh, remember yeah? I can't remember everything knee thrust flurry of pain dragon punch dragon punch somersault flurry of pain dragon punch somersault grab what is this grab and then i didn't write anything after grab probably for probably fury life or something probably wait probably see if your perseverance uh, passive is up you can use Fury Dive. It's probably after you grab. For probably Fury, Fury Dive. If, if I recall correctly, it's, a, it's Fury Dive. Probably Fury Dive, yeah. That one deals... 80, 80%. It does 80% to a Lancer. Uh, on testing, yeah, on Lancer. 80% to a Lancer, so that's give or take. Maybe about 65% to 70% to uh, a tankier classes. Like maybe Paladin or something. Very, 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 very high damage. Yeah. The full combo really hurts. So, yeah, that's something that you guys can take notice at. Plus, it's obviously very, very good. The skill, Flurry of Pain, is a priority zero skill. So, it has, it's super good at linger catching. It's super good at uh, trading. If, uh, if you if a priority zero skills, will always win trades if it's against another non super armor skill. Uh, there's only a couple pure priority zero skills, I think, in the game. Very, very low. Uh, only, only a few. Uh, it's, uh, we'll talk about that later on the Master Tier uh, PvP guide. Uh. I, I haven't planned on making it probably probably wait for my advanced tier list vi uh, advanced pvp guide video to reach maybe 4000 views and maybe i will start doing the master pvp uh, guide yeah all right next is gonna be the sura the sura in a competitive play is an absolutely broken class however it's kind of difficult to explain because to be honest uh, the sura is if played properly if played properly, is absolutely ballistic. Uh. To be honest, this class is uh, the grab opening damage is very very high. Got stealth. I think most Sura that suffer is actually a Sura that uh, doesn't really know what he's doing. If you slow play a Sura the way uh, probably Exili or Enil is uh, playing it, Sura is still absolutely very very good, very very strong class. Uh, we had a long talk about Sura with uh, Fubao from uh, the North American server. We had a talk about Sura and how Sura is just absolutely disgusting. It's it, 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 it's a very very good class. Uh, had a talk about Sura with Fubao and Anil, um, yeah, and uh, boss, uh, boss Toxic as uh, as as well. I think uh, during that discussion, uh, the, we have come to an agreement that uh, yeah, Sura is kind of busted. You can literally go invisible, blinding lights into grab into just. Um, Probably one twin dragon into an after image. You can you can rinse and repeat this probably two or three times depending on what class you're against. And it, it's just it's just a play that has no counters because it's it's an it's instant and there's just almost no reper, repercussions for that um, play. Yeah? It's just obviously a very very busted uh, play style, but it's still play style nonetheless. And in this tier list, we are not using the typical no grab opening. Uh, ideals that the big fish uh, usually uh, that, that that i use so um everything goes in a, in, in a match where everything goes sura is still a broken class unfortunately next is gonna be eclipse okay eclipse is currently kind of weird like this is a class that's like um it's strong but not really, and the reason why it's not really strong is not because it's weak, but because he, her her enemies are too strong, and everything counters her. Like this is one of those classes, like GM, which is like primarily a forward guard class. The difference is, GM hits harder, GM is tankier, GM has amazing sustain, GM has a grab. But she don't. She has neither of those. And because of that, she's like a pirated GM. She's worse than GM in terms of almost everything. So she's just a like a GM with flaccid penis. 
this hot auntie uh, is quite weak uh, to be honest uh. maybe low overpower or just high good uh, i think to be honest I, I i don't think this class can compete very very high uh. I, I don't think so uh. against lotus completely gonna get fucked against yacha gonna get fucked against wallow gonna get fucked against fucking solaris gonna get fucked against lily gonna get fucked yeah she's gonna get fucked against anything uh, to, to be honest uh. grabs also fuck her up uh, she's only got one and anti grab and the four guard break is actually not on the first hit uh, the four guard breaks on the second hit so people can just the moment they see you stab using the remy say it's actually quite easy for people to uh disengage and not get their four guard break uh their, their four guard broken so it's a very telegraph class it's very very uh circumstantial i would say yeah very very sad yeah all right next is gonna be the nova this is gonna be the next uh, demon level class. This is a very very broken, uh, very very uh, absolutely busted class. Yeah, for sure. Very tanky. So grab openings do not really deal a lot of damage. This class breaks full guard very very easily, and she can play very pussy and uh, play extremely de defensive. And the queen will keep hitting you. And don't sleep on this. The queen really hurts after a while. It just really really hurts, guys. So I think uh, what needs to happen is um, the the thing that makes her broken is actually the quantum charge. That skill has three and a half second duration and a five second cooldown, making it only a one and a half second uh, cooldown down, downtime skill. The skill breaks four guard instantly. Plus she does have this monster level damage. Uh, her her combo is capable of one shotting as well. So it's it's a very 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 pain in the ass. Um, very very sad yeah very, the damage is very very high so it's not really just a defensive class but also very tanky and very painful as well and it's quite sad to to hear just uh, how bdm has gone uh, now pretty much we are getting close to an era of um well pretty much one shot arena again it's actually quite uh, quite a pity to uh, see what the game has become yeah for sure but uh well let's just say there are some hopes though not not all hopes are lost i think soon in the future i will uh, start to talk with uh, the per, per abyss uh, developers uh, or maybe maybe if we get if we can get an audience we might be able to talk to the uh, development staff right uh, like but that's just for hope huh? we're just hoping that that will happen yeah for sure um hopefully you guys uh uh, we'll look forward to that when it happens for sure All right next so oh my god, we still got so many classes. How many classes is uh, it's like uh, Nine nine. It's still got 18 more classes guys. <laughs> we, we're only halfway. We're only halfway there <laughs> Okay, wind walker currently I think it's a very overpowered class I would say in terms of overpoweredness. I'll put wind walker probably above or below Hasashin. I think probably below Hasashin for sure um, Hasashin has got better. Hasashin has just got better. How I put it, uh, it's like Hasashin has a better rotation. That's for sure, and less weaknesses. This Windwalker is what you call a one-trick pony. Her kit is good on Wind Knife, but her her Gale Harvest does not have lingers at all, and it actually the immunity the immunity stops before the skill even finishes on the Gale Harvest. It's quite sad actually. Plus. She her rotation will get fucked after the I think her downtime on her rotation is uh, on the second rotation. It's very very it's very very suck guys. Like her rotation stops completely after the second rotation. She's got about two and a half seconds of downtime of super armor at the moment. So you, she's she's gonna go like um, wind knife into gale harvest into wind knife, and there'll be a long ass downtime. And I'm talking like two and a half seconds to three seconds downtime of uh, her immunity. So at this point, you can force her to use like um, the evasion a couple of times. It's, it, it's just very, very sad. However, her damage is extremely real. Her damage is very, very high. It's just a class with extremely high damage. And um, it's also capable of one-shotting the, the opponent. So you're kind of looking for that one chance for that to happen. Uh, like... Yeah, that's a one-trick pony. It's still very overpowered, obviously, capable of one-shotting. It's obviously a very uh, overpowered class, but uh, yeah, this is still a class with weakness and do need a lot of skill to play competitively nowadays in this current meta as the ones above just too strong. 
Plus, now we have the Huntress. Now, this Huntress will be one of, uh, will probably be the best out of the current ones, the current, uh, the current arrow slash gunners, yeah? Comparing Huntress to uh, the Archer, the Fletcher, the, yeah, uh, and the Buccaneer. This is gonna be probably the best out of the four, like, gunners and, uh, like, uh, like, um, like Archers, uh, like, like the arrow slash bullet types the ranged uh, fast range ones yeah this is gonna be the best one out of them all she's very soft like the rest so it's the same the difference is her opening skill blasting gust is the best out of the rest of uh, the other ones uh, comparing to the uh, the archers version the fletcher's version the keep away and from the buccaneers uh smooth sailing the huntress's version is the best the most accurate the best one her She's, she's just the best out of the out of the four yeah very 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 good class a lot of invincibility as well very good dodge linger it's just an overall very good class in my opinion yeah very 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 strong class very lacks lacks a lot of weaknesses as well so that's a good thing for the class next we're gonna be talking about the legatus now this legatus is a bit different yeah a lot of people told me like oh oh my god legatus sucks he fucking sucks balls now. Like, like the damage is not there and stuff. Yes. Now this Legatus is what I would call having the same issue as Fletcher. This is a class with what you call the Fletcher syndrome, <laughs> or the BTS, the BTS syndrome. Yeah. Uh, this class have amazing kit, just like the Fletcher. Although I would say that this class's kit is actually better than the Fletcher's version. I'll probably say this class's kit is probably enough to move her to good. I would say she's not as he's not as good as Primrose and the rest, but he is still obviously still a pretty good class. The damage is actually not as bad as you guys think. The, her his full combo deals about sixty percent, so that's not bad, and that's that's to a GM, so that's something, right? Sixty percent to a GM is not bad at all, guys. It's not bad at all. Yeah, her his combo damage, the the, the full combo damage is actually pretty nice, although it might not be as easy to land them, but uh, it's still pretty good. He's got. Two anti grabs. Wait, thunder, thunderbird, thunderclap. That's two, yeah. Two anti grab. He's got uh, two anti grab and two forward guard break. One on the thunderbird's second hit, so that's pretty bad, yeah. But the one on the thunderclap is actually pretty good. So he's got good coverage. It's a very good coverage class. Very, very mobile. Very, very good, yeah. Pretty good trading power as well, because the range spiel bolt is pretty nice, yeah. All right, so uh, I think uh, okay. Now we talk about the sage. Sage is currently a potato class. This is a uh, this is quite sad, yeah. To be honest, yeah. His kit is actually not bad, guys. His kit is not bad. However, the damage is kind of low. The damage is very very low for this class. I do think he needs some damage buffs, just like the just like the Fletcher. I would say. Although, if I may be so honest, after testing, mm, to be honest, if he had more damage. He'll probably do well. Maybe another, maybe probably, uh, probably can give him uh, PvP damage uh, buffs. Yeah, maybe a ten percent PvP uh, damage increase and a ten percent PvP damage reduction passive, and with additional maybe a ten percent uh, damage amplification. That buffs will probably give this class a chance to shine again. At least that's the plan. Yeah. Very very good class. Uh, wormhole has dispel, so it cannot be slowed or whatsoever. Yeah, you can let go of all the all the all the, uh, all the shit. Yeah, so it's a class that cannot be slowed and, and stuff like that. Very very good. Unfortunately, yeah, the damage is kind of shit. Yeah. Also now there is the shy. This is the new class which gave me a lot of problems. I do not know how to actually rank this class properly. So. A lot, uh, some of my members in Core Reef said the Fletcher, uh, the, the uh, fuck, the Shy is just a broken class. It's it's fucking busted and all that. And to a degree, I do understand that this is pretty much a fucking busted class. It can heal, and it, it, the bear is just fucking nuts. And and like all and like all all that, I do think that Shy is actually a broken class. But the question is, how broken? Now that's a good question, <laughs> right? That's a good question. How broken is Shy? I don't think it's actually very broken. To be honest, I don't think Shy is actually that broken. It is kind of annoying. It is kind of 
it, it is kind of broken but not really to a high degree so i'm gonna be putting it on low broken yeah low broken unfortunately <laughs> although i sometimes I, I do think like sura is probably below shy to be honest uh, maybe below shy yeah probably although if you competitively if you i mean this is a competitive uh, like uh, tier list yeah so maybe to be honest mm, maybe maybe gonna put him in either probably the same like, shy and sura probably sura is just more cheese yeah more more cheese more like grab cheese yeah and the shy is just more sustained cheese and the bear cheese yeah so they're kind of like 11 12 lah. yeah probably this three the same this three is about the same lah. this mystic shy and bullshit uh surai yeah. it's about the same lah. next is gonna be the reaper this currently this class got buffed recently um well to be honest uh, this class buff is quite nuts uh is almost near 24 7 rotation on the skill the immunity skills but the rotation stops on the fourth rotation so that is actually quite sad yeah the fourth rotation does have downtime this class does have weakness to grabs as well because during soul spike you are very prone to getting grabbed and if you cancel it it's kind of wasteful and fucks up your rotation even worse and because of that, this class will be put simply on overpowered. Regarding how overpowered, competitively, this class will be put into a tier above the Archer. The reason for that is, she has a debuff, the slow debuff, very very annoying uh, debuff, plus is just the invis into the other coverage is too strong. The class is very 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 flexible and it just allows the class to play very flexibly you can go for you can go uh, close range you can go range using i think she's got a couple of skills a scissors bolt or something i forgot the name and got the other one also she's got quite a lot of like range type skills now so she can play range uh, also for arenas chip down enemy from far away very very good uh, uh, kit now yeah although if i may be so bold Probably what I would do is give Soul Spike anti grab. That would be amazing. I think by giving Soul Spike anti grab, it will allow the class to shine a little bit. Probably remove the slow debuff completely and change that to anti grab. That will enable the class to perform a lot better, in my opinion. It will actually uh, balance the class a bit, yeah. It will remove her weaknesses, her overwhelming weakness to grab, but also uh, nerf her a bit. To the point where she can't slow people down and make her less of a threat yeah so that's obviously a, a good way of balancing the class next is gonna be the another this one is gonna be a, a very uh, fucked up anti yeah this one this one is currently also a god tier class this class is absolutely fucking broken there is no answer for this class whatsoever it's just fucking busted an over buff over fucked up class Whoever you are, if you're playing Raven and you think that you're fucking good, no, you are not, you're not good, okay, you fucking suck, alright? And the only reason why you guys are performing well is because the class is carrying your ass, okay? This class is busted, I think it's no, no more surprise, uh. this class is fucking busted. Uh. Competitively speaking, this is probably the strongest class, uh. to be perfectly honest with, with, you, with you guys, if we're talking competitive play, as in a pro versus a pro, this, is, this class is the way, way, way too strong, in my opinion, it's not, it's not even close. Like, like, uh, oh my god, this guy is just, so, it's just a fucking pain in the ass, man. Alright, <laughs> I think that's, a, that's about it. Next is gonna be GM. After the GM buff, well, let's just say, he is currently, <coughs> uh, here. GM is currently a demon tier class. And the reason for that is, every time we always believe GM is a combo class, he must start from a combo, from proper combo. But no, because Pearl Beast says, fuck that shit, we're gonna fuck GM up, we're gonna make him into a fucking tank. We're gonna make him so tanky, we're gonna make him so fucking hot, uh, like shirtless, and we're gonna give him the power of, say, a 10 million bicycle. So what will happen is now, you can actually play this class with grab opening. Two grab opening from a GM will kill anything without a PvP damage reduction in two shots. So basically, 
you're gonna go shoulder thrust you're gonna grab someone you're gonna use energy vacuum you're gonna use shoulder thrust again and then health sweep this only this uh this rotation will kill anything without re pvp damage reduction in two shots means two grab opening is enough to kill anything it's fucking busted very very over buff class fucking bullshit yeah is is fucked up man this this gym is fucked up okay please please do not play this class currently it's fucking busted yeah next is gonna be the spirit walker spirit walker competitively speaking is currently a overpowered class now ho how overpowered is this class now if we're gonna go into that territory this is gonna be a class that rivals maybe reaper and maybe pro probably better than reaper better immunity better reach better terms of almost anything and also the damage of this class is absolutely ballistics this is one of the classes with a combo that capable of one shotting as well so uh, well obviously we'll not be sharing what the, the, that can do but uh, actually now this class a couple more um things are found in, in the class the summoning of the haylang or the uh, the fucking dog actually has iframes slash super armor in the arenas so all this time we thought oh her super armor is only on the phoenix wings and the fucking bullshit dildo skill turns out no she's got one more and she has a grab too and her forward guard is a turning forward guard thus it cannot be broken from the front nor the back so that's pretty fucked up <laughs> All right, so I think uh, yeah, there's not much to say. It is a very overpowered class in my opinion. Regarding how overpowered, obviously, it's not going to be the same as the ones above. This class does need a bit of skill, although not by a lot, because it's obviously an overpowered class with very very high trading power. Plus, this class does not really need any form of. Uh, this class doesn't really need to have any risk because the skill is. The skill, the long range day skill is very far. So you can do it from pretty safe distance. You can play, you can kite with this class as well. She does have a grab as well, so that's also very helpful. What else, huh? Hmm, this class got over buff as well on the damage. Uh, on, the, on the damage, you can see on the next, uh, I think last week's Korean, uh, Korean servers. Uh, update yeah she got buffs as well so soon maybe we're gonna see a top maybe uh maybe a mid tier broken class maybe however the class does still have a couple weaknesses it does have a it's not something that you can just play against this bullshit yeah you will probably die so obviously this class is still not not a broken class unfortunately that's just uh how it is i guess Next is gonna be her sister, the fucking cardboard, fucking fucking cardboard class. No teeth, you fucking shit, you failure, you bullshit. Okay, this is gonna be what I will call the motherfucker of all class. This is a class, one of the most bugged class in the game. The skill, uh, this the skill combo hurts a lot. He does. She have amazing sustain, amazing mobility. She has pretty much everything you can think of. Plus, she has a hidden mechanic in the skill. Uh, she, has, she has a grab as, as well. She has a hidden mechanic in that skill, the gravity bolt. That skill, the, the, uh, the blue ball sack skill, yeah? That thing uh, continuously CCs you the moment she put it inside. So what people don't know is, if you say you CC her when she's inside those blue fucking balls, you cannot continue your combo, because... You will get CC'd the moment you use a non-super armor skill, even though you CC her. So this is deception. This thing works in a way that, uh, okay, so I CC you, but because you're inside the blue balls, I can't add more damage. So in the end, it actually acts more like a super armor skill rather than not. So that's actually kind of kind of ballistics, to be honest. There, very very broken class currently. Uh, the skill, the the first guy, I forgot the name of the, of the skill, man. I think it's um. Wait, let me give a sec. Uh, I think the, the, the heal skill is back and call. And there's one more, the, the other skill, the, the day skill. Yeah, uh, That one also have the qualities of the titan. It, it has a bug hit, hitbox. It's bugged. It's got a bug hitbox. Like it doesn't look like it, will, like it will reach you. And it doesn't. 
it doesn't reach you but the cc does it's like the cc is one evasion away from the animation so it's kind of fucked up guys it's just bugged it's a it's it's a fucking god class because it's bugged it needs to be fixed okay very perfect class this lupa yeah I, obviously I don't, I don't really feel that this class have any particular weakness the only weakness of this class is the player and also well i guess the only one that can compete is against the broken ones is uh, obviously another broken ones <laughs> obviously very very strong class very very fucking busted and this uh, lupa yeah uh, very very sad to see that such a class exists but unfortunately well you cardboard you fucking bullshit yeah you go suck penis if you're playing lupa you don't don't need to say that you're good okay you suck okay you fucking suck your class is doing all the job for you lupa is currently the strongest class in the game alongside the other four you see here regarding which one is stronger which one is not stronger they're all the same to be perfectly honest these four are all the same they are not different whatsoever you bring them for on a competitive play is the same now regarding demon tier which one is the most demonic in my honest opinion in my honest opinion the most demonic out of them all is the gm continued by the nova into the solar uh, into the lotus and then the solaris and then the lan and then the huntress uh, and I'm not even done with the tier list yet. Oh shit, man. Fuck my life, man. Alright, next is gonna be Draconia. This is also one of those classes that I can say is absolutely brain dead. This is also a god tier class. This is a class that does not need to actually clip you to win. If you get hit by her Wings of Ruin twice in a match, you will die. This class has 24-7 immunity very good trading power the best in the game it has no weaknesses whatsoever she has two forward guard uh she's, she's got two forward guard break on the vapor thrust because it's bugged just like the vk's night night uh, nightfall she does have amazing amazing stalling amazing damage it's just overall a fucked up class with no weakness the reason why i said rakanya sucks at first is actually because we were thinking about playing her like a normal class we think about okay we, we need to combo no you don't fucking need to combo just trade focus your immunity on just trying to rotate you don't need to fucking combo just just trade and you win you trade wings of ruin twice you win already if you lucky you got our hit proc one is enough okay no need no need so much trouble yeah you got one combo off okay that's good the enemy is dead okay that's the this is also one of those classes with a combo capable of one shotting as well this draconia can one shot as well so currently if you guys want to know the list of the classes that can one shot you from 100 percent to zero it's gonna be one is gonna be draconia two is gonna be wallow three is gonna be yacha four is gonna be gm five is gonna be nova six is gonna be solaris seven is going to be sura eight is gonna be the wind walker and nine is gonna be the spirit walker those are the nine classes capable of one shotting your health from 100 percent to zero currently Next is gonna be the Lancer class. This is also uh, probably I'm gonna place this class at Demon tier as well. This class is absolutely strong as fuck. It has no weaknesses whatsoever. The Divine Guard has very low cooldown and it heals. So her only problem is grab. But there's there are ways around that. And because she heals so much, I don't even think that that matters. Except if you're against like something more bastard like say GM or Yacha or something. You can go super armor also, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's just Lancer is just fucking broken and it's just it's just busted. They just busted by a quite a huge margin. I don't really see any particular weakness of this Lancer. When played competitively, it's just it's just a fucking menace uh, problem. Next is gonna be the Paladin Dong, huh? Pala, Pala Ding Dong. This Paladin Dong with the with grab opening style fucking bullshit is currently a good class. It's by no means shit. It loses. Okay, you know what? I'm just fucking kidding. Okay, this class is fucking balanced. It's, this class sucks. Okay, this class fucking sucks. It, it's just it's just like how I put it. It's like 
it just sucks. <laughs> that's 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 to be honest, all, all 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 I can say. It just sucks, but doesn't suck that bad. That's that, that, that's about it to be honest. Probably gonna put Paladin in like, maybe good maybe, but that that's about it. How good? Hmm, maybe here, maybe here or here, maybe maybe above Prime probably, but that's about it. Bazooka! Currently, Bazooka is a ding, 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 balance. Is this a balance class? It's fucking gay. It's. Well, let's just say this. Yeah, this class is fucking gay. It's, it's just balance. It's just it, it has been a balance class for a long time. But in the current meta, balance means shit. So, yeah, might as well. You go you go suck penis, yeah? Alright, next is gonna be the Gladiator. Fucking gay, okay? Uh, Gladiator, in my opinion, currently is after a lot of testing, is actually kind of overpowered. Yeah. This class is overpowered for sure. This Gladi is overpowered. This is also a class capable of one shotting. However, I will not be counting that because the only combo capable of one shotting is the Estrana combo, and the Estrana combo is something that. Uh, the mobile version of the game will never be able to do or replicate. Plus, you also need to be fucking brain dead like Estrana himself from the North American server, who probably plays Gladi a lot more often than he plays with himself. So, uh, well, that's a combo strictly for one or a couple people only, and um, yeah, you probably will never see that combo even in competitive plays most of the time. However, if you do see it, then you might as well put Gladi on that list as well as the 10th class capable of one-shotting you. Out of the 39 classes currently, about 10 is capable of one-shotting, so it's very very sad. Next is gonna be the Inpupka, or Zin from the Europe server's best cause of COVID, yeah? This, see, see, this, uh, there's this man in uh, BDM group, yeah? his name is as Zine, yeah, probably Zine. Uh, he's a he's a long time Invoker player, and he's gone bald playing Invoker, and he's complaining every single day for a Invoker buff. As bad as it sounds, that probably will not fucking happen. So, uh, well, go change it to a different class before you go bald, my friend. Unfortunately, Invoker in the right hands is still, <laughs> if you want me to be honest, competitively. Invoker is still a better class than Legatus. It's not as bad as Fletcher and Berserker, in my opinion. Her kit is actually fucking disgusting, in case you guys want to know. <laughs> it doesn't suck all that bad, to be honest. I don't, I don't think, I don't even think Invoker is here. To be honest, I think Invoker is actually competitively. Once you're in in the hands of a pro, this class is actually a lot similar to here. To to be perfectly honest, but since you probably want some sort of, since I don't want him to cry on my comment section and calling me fucking shit, yeah. So I'm gonna put in Invoker on good. But you guys know what I really mean. Alright, so next is gonna be a Arc Mage. The Arc Mage is probably the current uh, good class, is probably around the same tier as Eclipse. I'm still not quite sure whether to put this on good uh, above uh, above uh, this uh, Eclipse or below this Eclipse. Probably, I will. This is probably something I cannot decide because we haven't done the. Mm, let me check. Hmm. Probably this one gonna be below Eclipse, I think. Below Eclipse, I think, yeah. Probably below Eclipse. Yeah. This class is only hindered by one thing. The low damage. However, this class does have that ability, that random, random spell casting that can automatically uh, do, yeah. That in that when when you master that technique, which you can, by, by the way, yeah. We're not gonna be making content for that class. I think it's kind of busted. Yeah? Uh, this is gonna be a class capable of probably casting two skills at a time, and uh, it does have some hacks capability to, uh, well, cast some bullshit while it's getting CC'd. There is a lot of competitive use for this arc mage, and uh, well, 
to be honest this is one of those classes that uh, unless you really master it you will turn to either shit or you're gonna turn into Koopa which is probably the best Archmage in BDM I guess the only difference is how far are you willing to go to see the end of the horizon with this class and that's where Archmage is gonna be placed on good right behind Eclipse and finally finally on the very last tier is gonna be the Buccaneer this after a long long discussion with my team we have finally decided that Buccaneer is high OP regarding how high we don't know but um, I feel that uh, I play the class yeah I play I play the class and because I play the class I was kind of biased I thought that I I thought that she was broken at first I feel like she's broken but after a long time of uh, discussing with my team yeah we had a talk with Anil with a talk with Avarok with a, with a talk with uh, Hubbard with uh, Akasha with many many others like uh, uh, like um, uh, Bugstorm also uh, and Mugui I think yeah. I think Mugui was uh, there too yeah by the way these are people from uh, my group yeah uh, they said that she's not broken <laughs> so well the majority wins so obviously I'm probably the one broken is not her probably is me <laughs> ding 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 okay I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding okay, it's fucking narcissistic as fuck and it's cringe but uh, to, to be perfectly honest I uh... why should I put her yeah okay you know what fuck it we just listen to we just listen to what what they said yeah to be honest yeah obviously Buccaneer is quite nice yeah this is a class that's overpowered I don't know how overpowered probably gonna put hmm to be honest, I don't know, but maybe I'm maybe I'm gonna put her on high over overpowered and yeah. maybe above Gladi. Yeah, I think. Mm, obviously, I'm gonna put this above Gladi also. I think. Or below, I don't know. I feel Gladi is more busted though, but I. Eh. Ah, God damn it! it. Mm. Fuck. Okay, I think I think you I think you sh you can stay there. Yeah, I think I think you can stay there. That's good enough. Yeah, high overpowered. I'm gonna put it on number one over overpowered. Yeah, this is the class on overpowered list. Uh, I think that's the last class for today. Yeah. Now we'll just do some adjustments to the tiers and stuff. Um. I do think this is actually a bit higher on the list. Archer probably here. Blade Master probably here. Yeah, I think. I think so. I think this is a good enough estimation. Yeah. For broken, I think. Yeah, I think. Hmm. Hmm. Probably here. Yeah, I think I think this is quite a good. Uh, I think this is good. Lancer probably here. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is a. Uh, I think this is quite good, yeah. A good list, yeah, for it. Uh, maybe if you guys want my, uh, if you want my data, yeah, maybe later I will. And eh, no, I cannot, I cannot share the data later. Fucking other content creators copy my fucking work. Uh. It took me a long time. Uh. It took me, uh, it took me and my team a long time to gather this data. And if you want it, you go get, get it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's gonna be about it for the tier list for the arena this is obviously gonna be temporary guys it's gonna be temporary yeah uh, this is not gonna be forever this is gonna be temporary only because uh, we're currently in the class uh, balancing season 
there will be an updated one later on and that one that's gonna be updated the updated tier list the new one will be the one that we will be using for the tournament and any class on the top 10 will be banned so if we are using this one as a basis Lupa, Raven, Yacha, Warlord, Drakania, GM, Nova, Solaris, Lancer, and Lotus will be banned for the tournament. That is the format that we are using. If, uh, but uh, I mean, obviously some things will change from the next uh, balancing that we will get for the next two months. So maybe this one will not take. Uh, uh, this one will change. Uh, some things will change. But for sure, for now, for now at least, uh, for now, this is what I can share to you. Yeah, this is what I can share to you currently. All right. Uh, wait, maybe we need to make some more adjustments. I think Lancers, to be honest, is here now, probably. Uh. Mm, yeah. Yeah, but not, not really. I mean, not really. Probably here. Yeah, I think this one's better, I think. Mm. Yeah, I think so far. So far, so so far so good, yeah. I don't see any particular problems for sure. Um Okay. I think that's about it. Mm. All right. This is gonna be the tier list guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed, uh, if you want a screenshot, I will put it here, for from God, Demon, Broken, Overpowered, and the rest will be here, yeah, alright, so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, hopefully if you guys, uh, if you guys enjoyed it, uh, there will be a, the next one, the next one will be for Black Sun, and for, uh, this one is for Arenas, so there's, there's just gonna be one more tier list for whale hunting, yeah, for arenas as well. And then we have two more tier lists, one for black sun and one for mass PvP slash bullshit, yeah. Alright, so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, hopefully you guys had a thorough fun watching it today and I will see you guys again very very soon on the next one. Toodles!